friends welcome back to the channel super exciting day here for me because mock is finally getting supercharged i have talked about doing this since i think i started my youtube channel over a year ago so really exciting for it to happen today i was going back and forth a lot between the different superchargers i think i had considered the vmp odin for a while ess whipple but i have decided to go with Pro Charger, the Stage 2 Pro Charger kit. I will kind of explain my reasoning for that later, but first, let's go drop off Mach. How exciting. Day two, and we're back at Peterson Performance. Let's see what they're up to. <laughs> hey guys. Morning. Hey. What are you guys doing over here? Uh, this is a pro-charged one uh, right here. We've done a bunch to it actually. Uh, it was already pro-charged before it came in. Uh, we, we put a built sands in it. Oh my That's gosh, that. my mock all taken apart. That's crazy. What are you working on next? Uh, pulling this timing cover off. So this whole front plate comes out then? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The oil pump right here. Okay. Just That's what you off. have to switch out? Yeah. Jeez. So taking that and then there's little gears inside. So we're just swapping those out. Just so that it can support? Yeah. Because I guess the stock ones are like super brittle. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure you've been building cars like your whole life, right? Yeah. Jimmy and I actually went to school together. Is it important that we upgrade these yeah so these are a billet and they're super strong the ones that ford uses they're so weak that you can drop them from here and like that oh wow yeah. so these these are just super strong so once you upgrade this it's good for about a thousand wheel like clarification for her in the channel we, we don't really care about the number no, at all. yeah you know, yeah just about feeling about, it might make a tad more than 700 but i think it'll be probably around there Okay. Cool. Thanks, you guys. Oh, yeah, uh, thank tell you. Brad I'll, t I'll take the car machine when you guys get your new one. Thanks yeah. for having us. It's been a week since we dropped off mock and the separation anxiety is definitely kicking in right now i am heading down to the springs jay is kind enough to go with me and take in the extra set of mocks wheels and tires and then just kind of see where they're at with things oh look mock right now the guys are just working on putting mock back together they have the supercharger installed and then they will be starting like the test and tuning. We also talked about possibly a dynoing mock, which I have never dynoed a car before. So that would be cool, but we'll see what happens. All right, guys, a few days later, we are back at Peterson Performance to pick up mock. Oh my gosh, look at it. You can see the front mount right through the grill. It's so dirty. Oh my gosh, he needs a bath. Yeah, I'll get it. <laughs> Take it for a spin and let me know what you think. Yeah. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> Let's... <laughs> it's 
Oh my gosh. And the blow off valve is down here, right? Yeah, it's in here. You can't see it. Yeah. Good lord. Crickets. Only not really. The ID 1000s are in there. I think it's 1050s actually. It sounds so freaking cool. It doesn't feel as like crazy as I thought it was going to be. I'm not nervous at all. You definitely only feel it in the higher RPMs. There's no breaking period? Oh, okay. Oh, sick. Nice. And then we're keeping those on so she can just melt them and that's what she's saying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that just doing burnout. Yeah. What the hell is a Shelby GTS? Uh, maybe you can ask him. What's a Shelby GTS? That is, we built it for this rental company. Uh-huh. And... Oh, sixth. Yeah, sixth. Oh, okay. And there's only like seven of them, but it comes in like a super snake. They oh, okay. Use a different, they use a different supercharger on it. And then uh, they give you three sets for oil changes. So you're the one doing it whenever. Yeah. Let us know. Okay. Great. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Thanks, I'm so excited. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we're all flustered. We are, yeah. <laughs> I hear you. Enjoy it. Thank, Thank you. Quick little two weeks, 700 horsepower. I am like actually speechless at how amazing Mach feels now. It feels like the way he should feel. When I was getting on the highway to merge on, I was like, you know, picking up speed, getting in the higher gears, and it kind of kicked out a little bit in third, which is insane. I've never driven anything like this. Some deer walking by Mock. It's so awesome having Mock home and to be supercharged. It actually feels exactly how I feel like the car is prepared and ready to be as far as like power. So I'm just so happy that I do finally have my Mach 1 supercharged. I have talked about it since I started this channel and it just feels good for me to, you know, knock that goal out and it to be everything and more than I could have hoped for it to be. So I did go with the stage two pro charger centrifugal supercharger kit, which I've heard is one of the easier ones to install. Um, I would have loved to do the install here. Brandon has done a couple of pro charger installs on a Mustang before, which would have been really cool to learn. But I think we've just been so busy these past couple of months. And since we aren't really set up here in this garage, it was just easier to bring it into Peterson Performance and have them do it. They're actually one of the few Pro Charger like certified installers in the area. Um, they also are probably one of the top rated Mustang performance shops in Colorado. We've been going to them for about a year. They helped us a lot with trying to figure out our alignment issues on the Hellcat. So. It was pretty much a no-brainer to go to them to have them do the Pro Charger install. They were super knowledgeable about all the parts that I needed and what I was looking for. They also were nice enough to let me swing by the shop throughout the week, check in to see how things were going. They got some cool drone shots for me. So a huge thank you to Peterson Performance. So from the start, I kind of knew I wanted to go with a centrifugal style supercharger kit and not so much root style, kind of like what the hell cat had. Like, I wanted to keep it more as a street car. I wanted to be able to daily drive it and then just have like that access to mass amounts of power. I just stopped recording. Um, so it's not what you think it is. So I wanted to go with a centrifugal supercharger because I wanted that access to power to be in the higher RPMs. And it's so accurate because even just like driving mock around and like the 
Like if you're under, I think like 4,000 RPMs, it just feels like normal mock. But then once you get past that 4,000 RPMs, it's like, it throws me back in my seat. It's a trip. Um, but like, honestly, I have never had a car with this much power before. And I think this is like the perfect setup for me, especially when I'm really not trying to drag mock. I know a lot of you guys are recommending that I go with the ESS supercharger kit, that it's, you know, a good price, that it's nice and easy to install, that it sits nicely on the 5.0 Mustangs. And I think a few other people have done like the install with it. But you know, Pro Charger has been around for a long time. It also seems to be the loudest from the research that I have done. Um, like I wanted it to sound like, like a whistle and thing. I don't know. Like I wanted it to sound insane and it does. Like the whistle, the blow off valve, it's louder than the exhaust and I think that is just so cool. But I also like the look of the Pro Charger kit. I like that if I were to pop the hood, there's just Pro Charger branding everywhere. But it's really nice. It really does have that like perfect balance of it still being a street car, still being like nice and easy to drive around, but also will shit on you. So the stock wheel and tire setup is still on and it's killing me. But I am going to be working on burning through this set of tires just that way I can get used to, to doing burnouts, maybe trying to get it slide a little bit and then the RTRs will go back on, but let's go for a drive. So I've been driving this for a few days now. I'm getting a little better. Still kind of a rook, still snapping my own neck. I would not want to be a passenger in here with me driving, but I am getting better at driving it. Also, the biggest difference I've noticed is in fuel mileage. Um, I think before I would average around 18 miles per gallon, and now I'm down to about 14 or 15. I don't know if that's mostly because like now that I'm driving it, I'm like in it more. <laughs> But it is really nice that Mach still feels like Mach in the lower RPM. If it was a root style supercharger, then the power would be in the initial, like the lower RPM. So I like that this supercharger almost acts as like a turbo once you're in the higher RPMs because I was so used to how the turbo responded in my Subaru. I feel like it was a nice, easy transition, adding the way that it builds power to Mach. So I am getting better at driving, figuring it out, having a ton of fun with um, doing like some burnouts and stuff. It's super easy, but it's really smooth. I think my confidence with it is a lot higher, which is really nice. I'm excited to start learning to slide the car, maybe start getting into drifting soon. I almost am already to the point where I want to add just a little bit more power, but luckily that is really easy to do. So I kind of tuned it for the headers and the Pro Charger at the same time and they went with Rob Shoemaker, the tune maker. I also wanted to include like a full part order breakdown. I'll put like a clip of it here and then I'll also put it in the description box if that's easier. But so I went with the stage two tuner kit. They have two different ones. The stage two one, I think has more like more power, 1050 injectors. And then I went with the black paint option on the head unit. I think you can also do silver, but I just, wanted to do black and then I went with the race red valve I think they have another option of like blue but the color doesn't really matter because it's not like you can see it anyways but I just know that it was the loudest one so of course that's what I went with but it's really a great kit because all I need to do now if I wanted to get to 900 horsepower is add a bigger pulley get an updated tune and I think just go 85 and then I could be sitting at 900 horsepower. So I'm thinking about doing that here soon, but I think first what's next for Mach is I kind of want to spice up the interior. I've been looking at doing a rear seat delete. So I think Watson makes a roll cage in the back with the seat delete and I want to do like white bars, eventually get some white harnesses 
and then and i also want to get a white steering wheel which matches my white shift knob so if you have any recommendations on custom carbon fiber steering wheels i would love to see who you recommend um but i think that's all i really have planned for right now i just want to have like a bunch of white accents in the interior and i think it'll look super sharp but that does it for this video. I think I've rambled enough to you guys. I'm just so excited. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing and I will see you guys next time.